Hello Creepos and welcome back to downloadable content. In today's video, I'm bringing a requested mod showcase. So I've brought seven weird and random mods that I found in the deepest, darkest section of Discord. So promise me you won't do anything weird. The first mod on today's list is not that weird. It is the God of War pack by Mr. Insane. And it doesn't do anything too new and creative. It's not a dig. I'm just saying it is what it is. But there is like item recall on this one and you can imbue it. So it kind of scratches that God of War itch and I'm happy to show it to you. The God of War pack is going to have its own category in the book. It's going to be right under here under God of War with the symbols. And let's take a look. We have the shield, the blades of Olympus, the axe, the other axe. Oh, we got a bunch of stuff in here. I'm spawning the nice shield and we have, oh, look at the nice little blade here. We got a chaos blade and unfortunately there's no chains, but it has recall. So you can just toss it and bring it right back to you and be careful because you can actually hit yourself with this. So it's a little of a doozy. Uh, shield doesn't have recall, un unfortunately on that one, but um, you know, it's a shield. We have the Spear of Sparta as well. This one, you know, it's, it's cool to have different types of spears. It looks like it's, I don't know, probably from God of War 3. <laughs> it almost looks like texture-wise and the model, but it's cool. I can be like, yeah! It throws really well. It doesn't have recall, but it's not supposed to. Of course, there's a nice Leviathan axe right here. This one, brutal in combat. And of course, when you toss it, you can bring that right back to you because it has return excellente and i suppose you want to see the upgraded leviathan axe right oh look i'm an upgraded leviathan axe better cutting it throws it comes back well the old one came back too that's so weird but yeah this one you know it's just it's just gonna look better looks better um doesn't play as cool but whatever it just looks better plays the same but looks better and when you imbue them with fire Look at the cool runes right there. They're like, look, I've been upgraded. Hiya! And then, of course, we got the big punchy boy. Come on. Come here, big punchy boy. Can be imbued, of course. Oh, yes. Big punchy. Let's see the devastating effects on him. Hugga! Yeah, he's dead. Moving right along is, well, one of the weird mods that you have to promise not to be, you know exactly how the internet expects us to be. And that is Vroid or Vroid by Lil Husky. This one brings more custom avatars in here and well, they're anime. So, I mean, just just don't be too weird. So Vroid is giving you uh, a decent amount of avatars. You have A, B, C, and the D categories. So Vroid is giving you actually a decent amount of these custom avatars themselves. So let's take a peek. I'm gonna spawn one sample. So here is the custom avatar, and like I said, please don't be weird with this one. I know what you're going to do, and I'm ashamed to show you, but listen, I was desperate for content. Anyway, so that's the first one. It looks all anime-like. Let's check out a uh, sample C. Hey, look at this guy. He's got a weird jumpsuit and stuff, and these all have different, like, tune shaders on them, but I worry about their collision, to be honest. Like, I feel like whew, I'm going right through that one, so I don't know how good some of the collision is but you know if you're looking to fight some weebs then you know vroid is going to help you do that oh no oh no i know you guys are going to do some weird things with this one but this was g and the collision they got big heads so the collision's all strange yeah right in the eye all right i don't think i should show you any more of these ones i just don't trust you up next, we have Fisher's Elemental Guns by Swordfish L42. And yes, I have showcased this one before, but maybe people don't know about it. This one is a requirement for a ton of the other gun mods out there, but this mod itself looks cool and behaves really well. So let's check it out. The Elemental Guns are going to be in the firearms category, and you actually get a couple of them. You get a nice little pistol, a faster firing pistol, this weird Drake Fire one, but my favorite is actually this Magnum right here because it is fantastic. Listen to it. Oh yeah, PS2 quality sound. But when you imbue these ones, that's where the magic is. Let's start with fire. And we imbue this bad boy with fire and you're gonna see this thing change. Look at those bullets. The bullets themselves are what's changing. So when I fire, it's gonna fire a nice fire bullet. Look how sick that looks. 
You looking to fire some electricity? Let's fire some electricity bullets. Boom, bam, boom. <laughs> and then my favorite is actually firing these gravity bullets. I feel like it looks sick. It looks like Reaper. And also when you shoot them, people start flying. Boom, boom. <laughs> I wish it had a trail. It used to have a better looking trail when you fired it in gravity, but I take this. Let's spawn some volunteers. And yes, you can actually hold it in both hands and be like, yeah, both hands. Oh, what do you, what do you have? Boom in the face. Yeah, shooting him with my elemental gun. I might be able to do some elemental John Wick dungeon runs with this. Let's hit him with lightning and see what lightning does to them. Die. Man, this guy is just tanking this. Whoa. Now let's try my favorite one, gravity. I think gravity when imbued has a chance to explode also. Boom! Look at him, he's like, what? Huh? What's going on? Get shot a bunch with the gravity. Come on, explode. I know you can explode. Don't don't come over here. Yeah, I just love gravity because it turns them into like matrix mode when they're shot. Jump backwards, matrix fire. <laughs> Look, see? So fun to use. I feel like I could do this for a very long time. But just know, I mean, this is a great framework itself, but the weapons are cool and it does a bunch of other things. So I really think that you're gonna like it. Up next, we have The Ice Spell by Davey3684. This one used to be a requirement in order for you to use earthbending, but now it's its own standalone spell updated for U10. This one has a ton of stuff in it, and it's based off of XP and use to unlock things. There is an optional file that you can download and replace your save file, so you don't have to unlock things if you just wanna go ahead and do it. But also note that this one is mergeable and can be merged with earthbending. Now, that being said, let's have some fun. So the ice spell is going to be found in your spell wheel and it literally is ice if you're using spell wheel enhancer it's going to say ice spell if you also go into your little menu book here you're going to see a little ice thing right there it looks like the nickelodeon symbol but it tells you what you have to do to unlock it i've already unlocked everything with a secret but it improves my ice aim i can grab the icicle zero gravity ice so it makes the ice fly without falling which is fantastic you can imbue different things i can merge ice and gravity ice and fire and ice blast so take a look i can go ahead and cast it and just look it just flies so straight just like go get casted so this one will just home to people which is fantastic and of course i could do two at a time the other thing after you've shot it into someone you, you might actually want to use this as a weapon and you can you can grab it as long as you have that upgrade so fighting with an icicle <laughs> feels surprisingly badass you can merge the ice together. So this is me merging the ice. So look at it. Ooh, I'm nice and merged. And I blast icicles when I pull it, just like a gravity bomb. Remember what they said, you can merge ice and gravity for a nice cool effect. Just look at the orb in general. Oh, an ice dome. Anything that enters this ice dome will be frozen. Ice and lightning together. Look at that ice shuriken. Ba -ba 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 I have like a little ice machine gun, which is pretty cool. And then my favorite merge, fire and ice. This one actually turns into the closest Kamehameha beam we have for blade and sorcery. It takes a little while to shoot, but get ready. Bye bye frames. Look how cool that is. And then you could also imbue it. Different weapons with frost. Let's get some more volunteers. Hi friends, do you wanna go ahead and get stabbed with a frost weapon? Of course you do. He's like, wow, I'm frozen. That was a good shot, but unfortunately, an ice slash is gonna have to stop you in your tracks. Ugh! Let's use my ice machine gun. Good ice machine gun, dude. Hey, I see you, uh-uh, ice machine gun. And if we're surrounded, we can merge it together, pull it apart, and everyone gets shot. This one, unfortunately, it misses the mark on a lot of people because, you know, it goes, I'll do it in slow-mo. Look how slow it is in random directions, <laughs> you know. <laughs> it's not gonna hit everyone. Cast right in the head. Oh, nice. Move and then cast. He's like, what? Oh, oh, I'm dead. Remember what I said about wielding them yourself? Stab. Perfect murder weapon. He's like, no, 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 no. Hook I love that. Let's merge ice and gravity. Who wants to get ice and gravity in Frozen Forever? He's like, what? Not me. Look, he's frozen forever. That is great. 
So this is the ice spell. Make sure you have it as a standalone. It's just a fantastic spell. Keep in mind, this can also be used with his other spell, which is Earthbending, another fantastic one as well. Hey, gah! Moving on, we have a mod that I have been waiting for for, I don't know, years? I don't know why it took so long to make it, and I'm going to be honest, it doesn't behave exactly as I want it to, but I digress. That is the Pumpkin Bombs by Rave Lizard BTW. This one is a bomb that the Green Goblin uses, check, it blows up, check, but it doesn't turn the enemies into skeletons, unfortunately. It just blows up, kind of like the Thermal Detonator, but still cool. The Pumpkin Bombs are actually going to be found in the exotic category, and there's three bombs. Bombs. There's Pumpkin Bomb, there's a Pumpkin Anti-Grav Bomb, and the Pumpkin Inferno Bomb. He was also nice enough to include a pouch itself, so let's spawn the pouch. And this pouch will actually just have these ones in it. It would be cool if you can mix and match these bombs, and maybe I'm stupid and doing the wrong thing, but it doesn't seem to work for me. But let's try a couple of these bombs out. Let's check out this Inferno Bomb. Now, this is just impact itself, so you don't have to worry about a timer, or anything like that. All you have to worry about is accuracy. Boom! Ah, the explosion's a little loud, but look at that cheesy fire effect. It, I, it looks cool. I mean, I'm not gonna lie. It also looks bad at the same time, but that is the best part of it. Now let's try the anti-grab one. He's like, oh no, I'm anti-grab. Unfortunately, it doesn't make an effect, and that might be kind of the charm that there's no effect. Hey, are you serious, guy? You wanna get pumpkin bombed? Pumpkin bombed! I completely missed. That is on me. So we're gonna do this nice and slow. Okay, here we go. Did that not do anything? Does this one not blow up? Okay. Oh! It blew up in my hands. Okay, so this throw, is it gonna do anything? I think maybe after you throw it, it blows up after a little bit? I don't think so. Ow, yeah! Okay, this. I don't know what the hell this guy's floating for, but yeah! Oof! there we go. That one's just the normal pumpkin bomb. Um, it's similar to the Inferno bomb where it just explodes, but I prefer the Inferno bomb because the Inferno bomb itself, you know, it burns them afterwards. And why wouldn't you want that? What, how'd you get up there? Ah! Listen, I got a bunch of bombs. Eventually one's gonna get you. There you go, idiot. He's like, oh, how do you even do that? Misery, misery, misery. So yeah, pumpkin bomb. Go. Our penultimate entry on today's list is a mod that I'm going to completely butcher the name of, and the player's name I'm going to butcher the name. So hang on. It is Tanjuru's Nichiren Tao by White. Yukino. My god, these people and their names. This one's from that anime that everyone loves. It's a samurai sword, comes with a sheath, it has like a water effect. It sounds pretty loud, but looks really cool. So, enjoy. So this is gonna be in its own category itself. And I'm gonna refrain from saying the name of this one because I don't wanna keep butchering it. But let's spawn sword and sheath. So this in and of itself is a nice samurai sword. It's like, hua, 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 I'm a nice samurai sword, but it also has something else. Because this uses Dark Saber and item activation, when you pull this one out and you press the spell use button, the loudest sound in the world plays, but it is now imbued with water. So it's like water style, katana mode. Time for an experiment. Oh look, he has a pumpkin bomb. All right, so this is it without the water. Does it decap? Pretty good decap without water. Now let's try it with the water. Hold to activate, water slash. Yeah. Huh. That also is pretty good at slashing. Go! Oh! So I think the water just makes it like a little bit better. I don't know if things are supposed to come out of it. Uh, yeah. I feel like it's supposed to like shoot a wave and I'm just doing it wrong. But uh, I don't know. Ugh. Don't. Oh gosh, it is much. Yeah, oh yeah. This one is increases the dismemberment like tenfold at the very least. So if you're a fan of this anime and you, or if you just want a nice sharper katana, this is the sword for you. Our final entry on today's list is Knight's Edge by Lime Sleazy. And it's from that weird Terraria game. It's, this is a sword or a dagger. I don't know, it sounds cool and it looks cool. And it does a bunch of stabby things. If you're a fan of Terraria, you're gonna be a fan of this weapon. Found in the exotic category, this is gonna be the Knight's Edge here. So let's spawn it. 
whoa, listen to it. It's so cool and pretty. And is that an actual hole or is that just a texture? Oh, no, no, no. The collision. I mean, I get it. I know how annoying it is to make <laughs> accurate collisions, but it would always be nice to see if you could literally put that through there. But it's okay. This one is just a weapon. doesn't have like any additional special abilities, but it has its own cool-looking effects that not a lot of weapons have. So let's just try it in combat. I feel like it whispers to me. It calls to me to slit their throats. It's from Terraria, so there's that. Ugh, so if you're a Terraria type of person, ah, I think I found your weapon. It feels like it wields like um, the regular short sword or a big dagger. <laughs> Toss! Well, it doesn't have the dagger parameter because when you throw it, it doesn't get thrown like a dagger. It definitely has the short sword type of parameter. Block, repost, stab, and then execute. Yeah, I don't know. It's just a cooler looking short sword. Kind of looks like a plumbus, but <laughs> to each their own. Well, Greebos, that is it for today's mod showcase. I hope you enjoy these ones. And moreover, I hope that you download them because they're pretty cool. And hey, if you're new to downloadable content, why not consider subscribing? It's free. All you have to do is click the link down below and join up, and I will greatly appreciate it. Also, join the Discord. Yeah, why not? It's also free. Linked in the description. And also linked in the description are all the links to the mods. So all you wonderful people can just one click and download. I also want to say a special thank you and shout out to the patrons I have listed here on screen. Thanks for supporting a lunatic like me so I can make weird VR content. To everyone else, if you want to be super awesome, the Patreon is also linked down below. But other than that, thank you so much for stopping by. I'm Rob from Downloadable Content, and I will see you in the next video.